Hey, welcome back, everybody. Well, I decided to build this little room up here because we are now looking at probably late September. And I figure what we'll do is we'll just move all the plants into here. This way downstairs is still going to be a crafting area. And this way it'll keep Mike a little bit busy. He looks bored out there. And I moved all of our planks into here, plus I got a bunch of planks on me. And yeah, I could have did like some of the guys and get everything prepped. Did I just use up all the planks on me? No. And prep everything, but I did that time. Prep everything in advance, and so all we got to do is throw a few logs or something in, but yeah, it's not like me. A lot of my episodes are a little bit longer than most people's. <laughs> but uh, we'll run this down real quick and get this built. And this way, once we go to transfer the plants over, we just have to move them there instead of putting them down here. So I started trying to move stuff around in here, and I thought, we got no room down here. Granted, I could have made a really big base, but I've discovered the bigger the base... The harder it is to defend. Oh, I gotta move this. Get this out of the way. Actually, bring this way over here. Don't need this over here in our way. I wanna move these logs here, but every time I try and take logs out of here, he comes running over. He's like, oh boy, I got something to do. <laughs> take a whole stack out of here till we're full. And do we have an empty cart here? Yeah, we will in a second. Oh, that's where the iron went. I forgot about that. Let me just sort this on the ground over here. Oh, I just felt that glitchy. Don't tell me Vambies are going to come in and crash me again. I've had two more crashes since you guys were here. All right, Mikey, we got to keep you really busy because I'm going to steal all your logs. How's that sound? I know that's what you wanted to hear, Mike. You're probably bored out of your mind. He's got a ton of plants in there. If I had the fridge, I'd be canning stuff like mad. Because unless they change it, the cans, put the cans in the fridge, it stops them from uh, expiring completely. Look at that, Mike. All right, Mikey. You're going to be busy, 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 buddy. Oh, you're we're full there, so grab these logs. And I hate the stairway. But once we get the wall built there, I won't have to worry about falling out, which that might be the first one I built. I was going to put a door here because I like jumping off, but I know what's going to happen. Eventually, it's going to sprain my leg, and I'm going to be screwed, and that chicken is definitely going to die. Because I'm notorious for jumping off the roof and that. Quite a few different games. Like this. Uh, that chicken is going to drive me insane. And I don't even care grabbing them out of the same one anymore. Usually my OCD would drive me nuts with leaving a couple in there. But Mike is just going to fill a bag up. Right, Mike? And i got to put some more oil in here. So we're going to be low on oil. This is so nice that the only thing i got to worry about is... Put logs on the uh, the saw. Now, if if the devs get that set where he stocks that, oh yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Let's get this back wall done. Let's get the rest of these planks in. Uh, 
I might as well take these. Brought them up here. Brought them up here mainly to get them out of the way. <laughs> hey, Mike. Look at this. I'm keeping you busy, buddy. He probably ran away. He probably said, oh, man. I had the easy life. I didn't have to do anything. Oh, yeah. I can put more in there, too, now, Mike. Look at that. Yeah, keep you busy, Mike. Oh. All right, buddy. Now, see, if he was a little bit faster, that would be perfect. Well, I think, oh, yeah, that's right. All they need is logs. I grab planks for nothing. Well, not really. I got to do the ceiling soon. And I think, I think we got clay. I might do the clay ceilings and vault this. Yeah, let's see. How would that look? Because uh, this is a 3 by 4 That's the only bad thing. Ceiling. No, roof. Well, never hurts just to play around with it. Oh, can't put it in that corner. Oh. Well, you know what? We'll finish those walls. Well, we'll see what it looks like. I mean, we have the clay. Yeah, we'll keep you busy, Mike. Wait till we start building the uh, tower. Uh, before I build the tower, I'm going to definitely put a lot more log carts down. Because we are going to have a lot more stuff going on. And I want to definitely make sure we have what we need. Because what I'll probably do is that will be done in stages. So we can have log carts on the different floors. Because he is not going to be able to keep up. He's not really the quickest. Saves us the time of doing it, so I'm not going to complain. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And then we got the corner there. Oh, I'm going to have to go kill a chicken. Uh, Jet just needs one more log. Ten clay. We got a lot of clay. Let's go ahead and pop these in. That's these. It's hard to see it. No hole. It's definitely the wrong way. I'm hoping that was him chopping logs. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Should just pop in the right way. Shouldn't have to turn it. Okay. Yeah, it was him. I'm hoping it was him. Or was it this one? Wooden inner roof corner. What would that look like? No, that would be for something else. It's not, definitely not that. That would be for a double pitch. Alright, and we got that. That would go there. There, there. Yeah, it's still flat topped either way. I wonder if we can use the peak thing on that. Will it allow me to use this? Oh, well, we won't know until we build that. Because I'd love to have that peak on there, but I doubt it. Okay, gotta get more logs.
Hey, hey, Mike, doing good, man. Oh, can't put one in there. Put it back in there for you, Mike. Uh, yeah, see, I was, I was going to put windows, but then I thought, oh, I don't know. It doesn't really need a window. If I decide later on, we'll just knock it down. Oh, I'm going to go get some clay. <sighs> yeah, we got a little bit of clay. Oh, and I'm overweight. Drop that one back in there till I can start getting some of this out of me. All right, now we can put some clay up there. It's not why I made the clay, but this was just a thought. Logged in and I thought, you know what? Let's get this going for this. Oh, I was missing a log on that, that's right. Yeah, I love those roofs. Oops. That's right, because we were one log shy. Give me that log. And give me some of these. Why can't you stand in front of that? Oh, now we're too heavy. Oh, shy logs. This looks so good. Look at that. I love the way that roof, roof looks. One log. See, they gotta make a new cart. Someone asked me if they make a mod for this game. And I don't know why you'd want a mod. This game is perfect as it is. Ah, uh, I hate when that happens. Because there's nothing I can do until it empties. I can't even turn them unless I get them out of there. Okay, let's load them up again. Where'd you go, Mike? He must be stuck somewhere. No, that's alright. I got plenty of logs here, Mike. That's fine. Or maybe you're on lunch break. Now, there is something you can do if Mike is stuck. Which I discovered this when I was messing around in this little house over here. Or the town hall. No, his house, not town hall. If he's stuck over here at his bed, it says you can hit the gamepad to recall Mike, and it'll bring him back to there, depending on what he's doing, though. But I'm not really worried about it right now. I mean, he might be out chopping trees. Who knows? Or he could be glitched. Doesn't matter to me. He does good. I got no complaints with Mike. Well, yeah, I do. I got lots of complaints with Mike, but I got lots of praising on him, too. All right, what did I run out of? Clay! I ran out of... Uh-oh. No, I didn't take it all. All right, we're going to take this, turn it, Oh, no, I wanted the whole stack. Confirm. What? <sighs> Doggone it. Alright, we're going to take a couple stacks of these. Just so I can finish this up. I'd eat up all that clay. Okay, good. Because I want to move the clay down here. This way I can get a ton of planks. Oh, let's use up all those logs. Then get more logs. Can I reach that? Yep, okay. 
think you were shy of log. Yes. That's it. Okay, go get my logs. Okay, he is still here. He's loading up over there. Okay, we just keep emptying these. We just haven't seen him. Which is really weird with Mike. He's got those trees right here. But he's probably going a super long distance away for trees. This guys are weird. I don't know why he does that. Put those two in there and then we'll grab we'll empty these out for you, Mike. He ain't going quick enough. And grab some clay. How much can we take? Not that much. Not that much. Oh man. Come on, get upstairs, man. Come on. We got things to build. Right, Froggy? Yeah, we got things to build. We gotta get it all done. Yeah, I need clay. <laughs> That's probably all I need is clay. Alright, am I later? Not much, okay. Looks like I'm going to be taking all these back down. Alright. Grab all this clay. Take it all. Give me that last one too. Because we still got those rough pieces to pop in. In the center. Oh, I might not have enough clay. Oh, that had clay, okay. All right. Now, I don't think we can put those other pieces of roof in. These, I don't think these will work. No. Yeah, we gotta put the flat ones in. Oh man, those flat ones are just bleh. That's these. Uh, we'll run them that way. I never liked these. Why did you turn? Is that one in the right spot? Oh, yep. Lined up with that. Okay. Yeah, one log shy. That's a bummer. All right, we'll just get rid of the cart, but I'll get one log. Um, oh, wait a minute. Door. We might as well put a door on here. Even though when good old Mikey comes through here, you know what he's going to do. He's just going to leave the door open. Uh, hey. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, I think this is all planks, right? Yeah. Alrighty. Well, Mike, we're all done with it, buddy. So, you're all set. Um, well, I'm still gonna take your logs. Just to have that filled up. I don't see you anywhere, though, Mike. I'm gonna take one more. Because this will take two, and I need one for upstairs. Three logs. Oh, I need a plank. Wow. My mistake. That's what happens when you can't see it. Alrighty. Put some fancy lighting in here and we'll be good to go. So this way we can start moving. 
Yeah, see, he just hops right over that. Yeah, he's going way out there. And he's got logs, or trees, right here. Does that make any sense? Oh, shoot, Bambies. Don't you crash it. Don't you crash it, buddy. Good, I got you down before Blue Shirt comes in. Beautiful. Oh, do I get room? Yep. What'd you give me? What'd you give me? 16 nails. 16 nails. You gave me good stuff last time. You gave me aluminum last time. Now you're giving me nails. Jeez. Uh, nails can go over here. 16 nails. Well, at least he gave me copper. The lowly guy gave me copper. Uh, where am I going to put the copper? Um, put the copper in the forge. I eventually need to go back to the... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, by the way, this did not make it through the night by power-wise. We lost power with 4,000. I can turn it back on. It's recharged again. So, we need more than four batteries to make it through the night. Because the solar, uh, solar panels don't charge at night. So, four batteries, no good. Ten batteries, maybe. <laughs> well, this is our new room. This will house all the plants for the winter. You really don't... Well, actually, with Mike, we probably don't even need a greenhouse. I mean, he's doing all the watering and the picking. I mean, I probably could expand this all the way over and leave it as a greenhouse. I mean, a greenhouse is good for the wintertime because none of the plants will expire. And the rain normally waters them. I mean, because what's the... Let's see. Placeable other greenhouse... 60 nails, 60 planks, 8 copper, and 30 glass. I mean, it's a lot of materials, but then again, it's not. But why bother with it when Mike is going to water everything and he's going to pick everything? The, the picking is the only problem. <laughs> if he doesn't have enough food, he's going to eat it. But, I mean, with something like this... And in the wintertime, you just have to throw one of those, and actually one or two, depending on the size you make it, of these little heaters. And they take 10 iron and 10 screws. And you're going to need them either way for your heat. And you're all set. I don't know. I, I, I'm deciding. I might do the greenhouse. I might not. You definitely don't need a water house with Mike. That is for sure. But I'm wondering about these. I haven't tried to pick one up yet with the stuff in it. I'm going to do it now. I am curious. Now, I know the stuff don't spoil when it's in it. But I'm wondering if stuff disappears. I mean, stuff in the crates, don't, normal crates don't. Oh, good. They stay in it. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking about making a few of these because, I mean, it's not the greatest food, but it's food. And he picks it out of the garden, puts it in here. I don't know if it'll survive the winter. Oh, it is October. So, yeah, we, how many seeds do I got? Oh, yeah, I got more than enough seeds to replant. I should just let him keep going because what do we have? Uh, land on this. Because he, which, I mean, when he picks the stuff, he's not putting the seeds away. Because there's no seeds in any of this. we got a lot of rot food in here, though. But, look, there's no seeds. Look at all the food. Got a lot of melons. Melons, oh, where are these at? 59, 124... 
I'll eat that. Uh, actually, you know what? I should put that canning station in here. That's what I should do. Can I pick that up? No, I'd have to remove all the logs to pick it up. These I don't. got to get this out of here. That's what I might do. That's actually a better idea, because he moves all the food into there anyways. Where did I put that other one? Or, oh, it's over here. Um, since he moves all the food into there, if I put the canning station in there, and I could probably move the watermelons in there too. Um, yeah, because once he picks it, it goes into there, and it ain't going to freeze. That's not a bad idea. I already ate all the cans. I jump down on the stones, I don't sprain my ankle. Well, that's Mike. Hope you don't mind, Mike. I'm moving this in here. Since, uh, you're taking all the food. Is this the right way? Yeah, I think so. And then I can just take it from there, put it in here. Uh, that's all that meat I had. Yeah, I could yeah, since I got the click thing fixed now, I can just click all that over into his box. Oh, come on. It was fixed. Well, if it's not fixed now. It was working before. Now it's not going to let me do it? Okay. Well, then you ain't getting it. You're not getting this meat. Stab you. Okay, uh, where was I putting it? Oh, up on the roof. I had a box for this meat. Yeah, as you see, you can see, I'm letting it spoil. Only because we need biofuel. Got to keep our mineral extractors rolling. I should have just let the meat spoil instead of turning it into uh, dehydrated. And actually, I should take all these pumpkins and watermelons, the ones I don't need, since he is taking these, the potatoes, uh, so many things to do. Uh, let me take this. I need this over there. I'm going to swap out a few things. Oops. All right, put that here. These are both empty now, right? Yeah, let's get these out of here. I put it next to your house, Mike. It's for your dirty laundry. When you get your maid to come over, she can, she can take care of it. Okay. There, There is one downfall, I gotta say, about having Mike. Takes away a lot of the grinding in the game that I, I do miss. I mean... Yeah, chopping down the trees. I, I sort of missed that. And one thing a lot of people haven't realized yet. With that grinding. Um, yeah, there's some stuff that... I don't want to take all that. That you're going to need that you're not getting. Ooh, because of it. You're going to need that bark. Uh, no, Kevlar. Kevlar! Yes, I have a lot of Kevlar. Came across a lot of bosses. Oh, man, we are out of that completely. 
Um, I need another iron box. I actually just thought, nope. Nope, this is the box that's going to be making steel. Uh, I think I put it over here. Yep, this is going to be iron. Yeah, we'll just name this one iron too. Oh, in a minute, in a minute, where you at? Hey, Mike, are you bringing him over here? And did anybody notice this guy's pants? These, these guys, that guy gave me nails again, 24 nails. He is wearing leather pants. Was there some kind of disco or something like that around here? Where they had all these guys in leather pants? What do you give me? You gave me nails too. Well, you know what? When you got a whole bunch of nails, you know what you do? You go upstairs to all your wooden planks. You grab all the wooden planks you can. Oh, wrong one. This one. Because we got a buddy who likes wooden planks and nails. And you do this. And you make repair kits. Because he's going to have to repair a whole bunch of stuff soon. Because we're on day 34. We're coming up to when the boss is supposed to attack. You know, because he's not attacking yet. These, these mini bosses are coming around. They're just, they're not here really. And yes, I make a whole bunch of these because God only knows what gets broke. And like I said, I still want to experiment with the range of Mike. When we go over to Croc Lake, of course I'm going to build a um, butcher table over there. So I don't have to bring a crock all the way home. Because that's the only way to do it. And I'll probably build a little shack there. Okay, that should be enough repair kits for now. Use up a few of them nails they gave us. Because we got over 50 nails now. Wow. Look at that. That old boy just keeps busy. All the time. Well, anyways, uh, uh, was it in here? No, they were in here. Oh, here, I'll trade you, Mike. So I know all these aren't going to fit. Now, look, it's let me click it out. You believe that? Can I click that in? No. It let me click it out, but it won't let me click it in. Uh, oh, well. It is what it is. Jeez. A lot of stuff. Well, anyways, um, I'm going to build somebody's log uh, carts over there. And see if he does anything with it. How's this doing? Uh, oh, 104. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, no, that was a mistake. Do I get an empty here? Yeah. I keep forgetting about that. That was way too many. That almost looked like a llama in the background. I don't know what it was, but it looked like a llama. It might it had to have been a deer. Alright, maybe it was Mike. I'm seeing things. All right, somebody call a doctor. I'm seeing things. While I was putting that away, I caught something. I'm going to watch that again. Because as I was putting that away, it looked like a llama. Okay, so I'm losing track of my mind. I'm allowed. All right, how are these doing? Okay, you know what? I'm going to switch you back to stone. Stone's going quick. Yeah, I want the iron in here. I'm setting this box up for a uh, 20 steel, even though we have 20 steel already made. 
And oh yeah, we're getting close to doing frags. Oh, actually we could do frags. Because this box here, there's 20 in there. So that's 20 ingots of iron. That's over 30, so that's 50 iron. Ooh, yeah. Mike? Where did you go, Mike? You in the garden? Okay. He was just really freaking out. But it's okay. He's still working. Man, I just lost track of what I was going to do. It really irks me. Just throw stuff around on the ground. Throw it over there. Out of my way. I'm going to start throwing stuff inside your house, Mike. Yeah, here's the steel I got set up for the truck. That's 20 steel, and I just can't remember what else we need for the truck. Um... Yeah, we need to make a mine run again if we want to build another battery, too. Because we don't have anything else. Hey, Froggy. Can I jump on you? Squish. Oh, yeah, I was refilling this. We probably need two more batteries to keep this thing running. That's full. Yeah. That's empty. Yes. Move this out of the way to an empty pile. That one's empty too, so we'll get that out of there. And how are we doing on biofuel? I think I got a lot of it. Bio, no, I would call it a lot. And where did I put spoiled? Oh, it's right there in front of me. Just picked up a whole bunch of spoiled. I don't like to make the uh, biofuel until I get at least 15, so... Oh, yeah, and there's 15 there. Take it back. Reason being is it's bulk. Because this way you get a full five. Not that it makes a difference either way. Both the same thing. Okay. Now we have five more biofuel. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, I'll have to look at the uh, that video where we found the truck. Because we know where the truck is. The truck is down here. Not too far away. Um, so we can go get the truck one of these days. How are we doing on power? Power grid is holding beautifully. Because we are using half the power we're storing. Yeah, like I said, this playthrough... No wind turbines, which, eh, piece of cake. No problem. Well, that's why I say now. Wait till we put a uh, fridge in here. Right, Mr. Bear? Yeah. By the way, I turned this around. The axe head actually has to face you. Otherwise, every time you access the uh, butcher's table to chop anything up, you're actually facing the other way around. It's sort of weird, but. All right, what else was I going to do up? here oh he's repair what's he repairing oh he repaired that where the Vambi attacked us ah see I love that he repairs everything right away all right we have plenty of seeds um, I could give him a bunch of pumpkins to eat all right we got that done yeah Uh, you know the other thing we could do real quick? I know we're going to need some kind of lighting up here. Placeables. Set under furniture. I haven't made any of these in a while. Wow. It's your hurry, Mike. You got to go to the bathroom or something? Put one there. And... Put one in the very corner here. I'm still debating about whether I want to put a window in. All right, that just needs five fragments. And oh, see, this is one of the reasons why I wanted the door. Where are you guys at? 
Hop back. Where you at? Thank God for steel spears. What'd you give me? First aid bandage. One. One first aid bandage. Wow. Cheap boogers. Mike, you want to fix that? That does look pretty. You know what it looks like? It looks like an old-timey house. If I had a window there and a window there, it would be an old-timey house. All right. Um, I lo They made me lose track of what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Plant fibers and frags. Why is that sitting there? What is it? Oh, frags. Okay, we need some frags. Uh, give me three of them. Yep, there you go. You can hear that hammer thing going. Yeah, I know somebody, uh, one of the other videos I was watching, said, oh, yeah, you got to make tools for him and that. And I'm like, yeah, I ain't making him no tools. And Yeah, um, I handed him, I, well, I handed him, but put my tools in his, one of his buckets before they changed the, uh, the uh, boxes. And tools never left there. And that was also before I made the repair kits. I love those lights. I actually, I like these better than the electric. I've made the lanterns before, and these things here put out more light than the lanterns do. I really do like them. All right, this is all food, and it's, oh yeah, get this spoiled food out of here. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to can a bunch of stuff. We have no canned food. That's why I moved that stuff over here. Mike, I swear, man. Why don't you take a breather, Mike? Go take a nap or something. You're always running around here, man. The only thing I pay you in is food. So, man, you might as well take a break. All right, let's see what Mike has over here that we can can with. And then, you know, maybe we'll put a railing or something around here. We really could, now that we can make some iron. From that water to that water, put a fence. Because they won't cross water. Not worried too much about the powerhouse over there. As long as we're not in that area, they should not attack that building. But that really don't mean nothing. And then from... Uh, will they cross this? Yeah, they can easily cross this. But they can't cross into here because of depth. Maybe we'll put something here. Got to think about making some gates soon, too. All right. Um, oh, my God, I lost track of what I was doing. Holy moly. All right, I wanted to check out his stuff. Um, yeah, I am going to need some potatoes. Uh, I don't want to lose this fiber. And oops, we're definitely not going to get rid of the, oh, these frags. Oh, uh, what's the potatoes? I'm going to look for really old ones. Old ones meaning they don't... Oh, that had six hours. Well, too late. I already took it. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, screw it. Just take it. All right, if I'm taking potatoes, I also want, give me two corns, cucumber. Yes, Mike, I'm taking your food. I need another cucumber. So that will give me some canning, and I'll leave the cans in here. Okay, so we got cucumber, cucumber tater. Actually, I can hold more than that, so I don't know why I only took two. So I can hold a lot more than that. Oh, give me some more cans. Give me the whole stack. Because it doesn't go into that. Alright, take two more. And give me two more taters. 
Might, you might get hungry for a while, but you'll be okay. Yeah, start eating onions. <laughs> there he is. He's down there chilling. Going, hey man, you're taking all the good stuff. I haven't taken the melons yet, Mike. I know that's what you were eating at first. You were eating all my melons. You better go in there and start helping yourself, Mike. I can see you out there in the back. Canning everything up on you. All right, now we got some... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Canning all the good stuff, Mike. All right. Let's throw these taters in there. Let's see what do we got in there. Yeah, we'll throw... Holy... Oh, I, I thought he took that stack of 30 I just made. I was going to say, oh, man. What all was he repair? Oh, that's right. Got to drag it in there. All right, you can have those two taters, Mike. Oh, you know what? I wonder if he's not eating them because they're not baked. All right, I want the melon. Um, give me two melons. Okay, how much room does that eat up? All right, and then go get two watermelons. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking the melons now, Mike. Let's see. What button takes melon out? Okay, this one. Harvest that. Will it fit? Yes, how much room do I got left? Oh, I might be able to hold four of them. And throw that in there. Now he's going to throw it right in there. Let's see, will that fit? Oh, yes, it did. And then we're going to take another one out of here and carry it. Because he's got more melons. Oh, yeah. Now he better not pick that up off the ground while I'm doing this. That would just irk me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to throw them on the ground, too. Okay, uh, inventory. All right, let's see. Let's compact this down. Oh, that, moving that one won't make a difference. Oh, come on, all the way down. There you go. And let's see, what can we fit? Harvest that, and harvest that. Nope, almost all. All right, put that in there, that in there. All right, give me that one that I cut. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. I like to see lots and lots of food. It's going to give us a boost because we can sure use it. Um, yeah, we'll take that and harvest it. And then he had another melon in here somewhere. Oh, uh, it was running low. 35. Take the 35. Then the rest of it will leave for Mike. That'll get us two more cans and a few more seeds. Another day in paradise. Can't wait to start making MREs. Oh, 
All right, so we got six and six. Beautiful. And how many seeds do we got? The only seeds I got was watermelon. How come I didn't get the other seeds? That's weird. I harvested the other ones and didn't get seeds. Hmm. Oh, it's because Mike harvested those. He pulled them out of the garden and replanted them. And I just picked them up out of the box. Okay. I see, said the blind man. Alrighty. Well, actually, the main for this episode was to build our nice little addition. Our temp is now down to 58, so... Hey, Mike, I got some... Hey, man, that was rude, dude. You better go eat. You're done, 38. And stop leaving the doors open. Born in a barn, born in a barn bud. But our nice little room addition's done. And with having that heater down there, once we ever get that built, it should heat this room, too. The residual heat will heat this. But this is where I'm going to end it here for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did... Please hit that like and subscribe button. And I know I haven't said this in a while. As always, enjoy whatever game you guys play. And I will see you guys on Next Infected. This is Gmo signing out for now. See you later.